so yeah so we found so i found this video yeah because yeah like i said um we me and me and my friends were like hooked on left 4 dead since it came out and it got here in the philippines so apparently this video is kind of like a deep dive on like how bad it is so i, I want to watch it with you guys so let's uh, let's take a look at this i just checked like the first few minutes but uh, i didn't watch it the entire way so uh, yeah let's take a look okay let's just let's pause this for now Oh, hey. Yeah, it's... Francis. For so long, it was really easy for us to just show them stuff. They'd be like, here, check this out. We had a prototype up and running. Keep in mind, at this point, you know, the environment is all just big gray boxes. It's not pretty at all. The infected are still... Okay, I think they're still left for dead. Terrorist zombies. I mean, it was already fun. So then it was just like... Well, yeah, there's like the development of left for dead one. This is pretty exciting for all us Left 4 Dead fans. Of course, uh, you guys are known for all the amazing work Left 4 Dead, and now you're building uh, this. I'm uh, building on the legacy with this new zombie co-op shooter. Uh, A legacy. What can you tell us about it, Chris? Well, we wanted to do more and bigger, right? Okay, here we go. Oh my God! Here's talk the about awkward. Reveal of Back for Blood. Could be and better, right? And awkward silence. What the fuck is that? He's doing. He's like doing a thriller in front of you. Oh, so I'm to blame. Oh, damn. What the hell? What's wrong with their bots? Oh, bye. Oh, that's also a bot. Wait, what? Did it just stop? Hey, it's like right in front of me. Oh. Uh, it stopped. Hi. It's not breaking the doors. <laughs> what the hell? What the? F that's uh i'm i'm no expert but i don't think that's how you, you hold a gun what the hell is just teleported um wait what it's just stuck it's just stuck oh it actually has a health bar gross why are you showing health bars What the hell? It's just force. It's just force pushed. <laughs> so they're playing with the Jedi. Since killing zombies is such a big part of this game, we invested a lot of time into making their death animations more dramatic than simple ragdolls. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I see that a lot. Capture stage, perform about yeah, it's, it actually like doesn't stop in its tracks. Kinds of weapons, yeah, it actually different directions, walks a few, front, like, like, you know, walks a few steps. Then combine these mocap animations with the physics-driven ragdolls. The result is a really cinematic experience with zombies that stumble for a few steps into a wall, then slide uh -huh. down the wall and collapse. For example, it's the best of yeah. Both. Yeah, look at that. Look at the acting. <laughs> you can actually tell that they're act they used to be alive. I <laughs> just smacked the floor. Just smacking, just smacking on the floor. And dead. Yeah, look at that. It's like you're actually. Dude, it's like you're actually like shooting people. See? <laughs> it has more acting chops than Twilight. What the hell? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold up. Did you see that? You get knifed and then you get blown away. <laughs> what is that?
That was dumb. Look, look, look. See, it, that, it didn't even touch. <laughs> it's like, it's like a, it's like a few feet away from him. And it just gets blasted the away with a knife. Is a major character in Left 4 Dead and spend a lot of effort in making their movements believable. The common hordes stagger around, cough, vomit, fight amongst themselves, lean against walls, sit on oh, the ground, yeah, yeah, I see that. and lie yeah. down as part of their wandering behaviors. When they see a survivor, they become enraged, taking off oh, the shit. sprint, leaning into their turns, trying yeah, to... Yeah, that was so intense when you, for the first time so you actually play Left 4 Dead. It's like one horde. They're like, holy shit, it's running, they're running at me. <laughs> oh, wow, that's sad. Look at the face. Wait, 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 look at the face. That's just sad. It's ugly. Look, it's so ge it looks so generic looking. It's just like it's just uh, someone. It's just like someone, like uh, some kid from preschool, you know, did something in their clay, clay doh or play doh or something. We wanted to express this rage in their faces as well. So we found efficient ways for each member of the horde to make intense facial expressions. Ah. Okay, let me break up my car and the candy. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, it's... Look at the detail of like the animation of like when you push him. And this. What? What? It's the same animation. It's literally the same animation. It was a challenge to create this diversity of looks for common infected and take advantage of unique clothing or uniforms in specific areas. Oh yeah, right, for instance, yeah. Lots of TSA agents are spawned in the airport, hospital patients around the hospital, cops in the streets, office employees in the offices, etc. It helped to reinforce the sense of a vest epidemic. We wanted to add further variety to Left 4 Dead 2's campaigns, so we extended this notion when we added the mud man, oh, the, I clown, hate those. the construction worker, and the riot cop. I didn't even know the construction worker has like some kind of effect. <laughs> oh wow, wait, wait, are you kidding? I just stopped in their tracks. And just burn there. Look at that. And a fire too. That's that's how a zombie acts when he's on fire. Not just stop. Wait, what? Uh, you got something floating there. He just blasted the entire torso. Damn. Off. Okay. Feel it. it. Just plops on the ground. Since players spend the vast majority of their time shooting the common infected, we wanted to improve the feedback and visceral nature of this experience. Oh damn! Yeah. Look at that. They actually shoot a hole through them. The to shoot off limbs. Now, in Left 4 Dead 2, look at that. Three unique ways to damage an infected. <laughs> this actually has a hole. Because many of these oh, damn. are non-fatal. Yeah. I did that a number of times. More than once. Just Resulting hit the jaw. About 780 possible damage combinations. Damn. Yeah, look at that. It actually shows you like the uh, the slash, like the slash wound. What the hell? It just exploded. 
Yeah, this one doesn't have doesn't have it. What the hell? It's just random. It just exploded. Go <laughs> so, pipe bomb. Look how boring their animation is. Just flopping their arms. That's more satisfying. Okay, I want to see that fire animation. See, it just stops. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how a zombie re reacts. And they're gone. See, you can actually see them go up. <laughs> okay. All oh, right, they float. Oh, damn, look at that. <laughs> look at the intensity of that. <laughs> Reloading. Wait, what? You can't shoot through. St oh, what? <clears throat> oh, that's lazy. Oh, that's lazy. The Nothing moves. The Left 4 Dead are <laughs> geometrically complex and littered with breakable and movable objects. Yeah, in Left 4 Dead, you can break anything. See? Me, even the fire extinguisher. There's an effect for it. Yeah, it's like they're just shooting on walls. They're shooting at walls. Yeah, this is what happens <laughs> when you shoot a fucking gas bomb. This okay. restaurant was one of the first areas we populated with tables and chairs. In early playtests, the survivor would pop a boomer, oh. and the resulting explosion sent tables and chairs flying everywhere. It was a great effect. We decided oh, it definitely to furnish is. a few more areas like this, so that more players oh, would yeah. be likely to experience When the, uh, the thing blew up on the back of blood, nothing moved. Not even an inch. Epic quality. Yeah, is it just me? The, the weapons in back of blood are like all muffled. Oh yeah, and it also has lighting. Lights on. It's it's like zombies from a bad. It's like a bad B movie. From the fifties. In Left 4 Dead, players carry flashlights to illuminate the environment. These shadow casting light sources not only add surface richness and provide important visual depth cues, they tie into gameplay. Yeah. Witch, turn it off. Freaking witch. Because a player's flashlight is attached to his or her weapon, the light becomes pointed off to the side when reloading or performing yeah. a shove attack. Boomer! That's why if you keep shoving, you won't see anything when like you're so in the middle of a horn. Game mechanics, this encourages cooperation. As players know they may be left in the dark if they choose to reload at the wrong moment. Oh yeah. Yep. Midair midair block. What? You can't block that? And moonwalking, what? What the hell? I'll send in another crew to hold the post once things calm down. Right now, I need you to get All right. to the What the hell? In playtests, people were often confused by certain events and elements in the game. The addition of musical cues helped distinguish these events and diminish oh, the I got sprayed. Confusion. 
Oh yeah, I love that. Players who leave the music on are treated to a variety of like, oh, audio cues. There's other around. The horror experience, but make and all of a sudden, sounds, so something's got to scream. We base the music on what the player is actually experiencing, and not on what we want them to experience. Yeah, they have their own, like, soundtrack. Um... What's happening? That, that's happening. That's it? No, nothing's... Damn. And that's it. Man, talk about lazy. We keep the music appropriate to each player's situation. Yeah, they have their own music. Player. The music engine in Left 4 Dead has a complete client side multi track system per player that is completely unique to that player. And can it's basically it's like you're spectators. going through a movie. Okay, that's that's bad voice acting. Don't look so good, yeah. Southerners doesn't talk like that. That's the fakest southern accent I've ever heard. One difficulty with the tank was that since we offset his incredible toughness by slowing him down a bit, when tank battles occurred in large outdoor spaces, he was far less effective. To offset this vulnerability, we added his rock throw and car stop oh, yeah. abilities. Oh yeah, that's that's an that's an ass move. <laughs> that's why when the tank shows up, it's always a panic. Spread out. Finish this for me. Okay. There, easy now. The only thing well, moving is the jaw. The <laughs> Who the fuck shot me? Watch where you move in the future. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, it's cool. I'm just chilling here, you know, and die. What the what the hell? Don't think I'm coming back out. Mom, please. You need to take better care of that wound. Then no, I'm, I'm cool here. <laughs> Man, talk about stiff faces. It's like the only thing that's this moving is the jaw. Our world. And we're taking it back. While there are hundreds of infected types mobbing the player and left for dead, there are only four survivors. To make sure these four stood up to close scrutiny over many hours of playtime, we decided to use photographic reference of faces and wardrobe details. That was unnecessary, but thanks. We started out by casting yeah, the face actually moves. The general design <laughs> concepts we had created for our characters. Imagine that. Sweet shot. The talent was guided through. See, it actually has expressions. expressions. Okay, let's do it. Creating a complete catalog of movements and expressions for each character's face. This is an invaluable resource for our modelers and animators when they start to recreate these expressions in three-dimensional models. See, it actually it actually has expressions. That's the thing. See? Yeah, I remember that. Oh, Val, this is the part where Holy Joey's chasing the zombie with a fucking gas tank. <laughs> well, limping. <laughs> you see, it works. Fuck yeah! 
Fuck yeah, yeah, it's just One the jaw moving. Holy shit. Was to have a very diverse group of real world characters. Who yeah, I missed that part. <laughs> yeah. But that also have heroic and aspirational qualities. They're changing. Yeah, it's the airport. <laughs> oh, it stinks. Like, get back here! There was a challenging design problem when it came to finding the correct balance while between realism and idealism. In our first attempts, we made him look a bit too old and frail, which made him seem physically incapable of fighting against the Horde. In our final design, we balanced the character backstory and the aspirational qualities, portraying Bill as a once heroic army veteran, who though older and wiser, can still excel at physical combat. And that's Mom. At least that's what we call her because she's tough, doesn't take shit from anybody, and always knows exactly Doesn't take shit from anybody. Oh my Welcome god, it's so. It's so cliche. Yep, that's me. My oh, I hate that. College. Yep, that's Just me. A run of the mill college kid with a baseball bat. But I can also be a real softie on the inside. You know, I'm sort of the glue that holds the whole team together. Wait. Wait, hold up. Did she actually just say that? I'm sort of the glue that's holding this whole team together. How narcissistic are you? I mean... Is that... Is, is, okay, tell me. Does anyone know that actually tells that... Yeah, I'm actually the guy that pretty much the... Uh, that gets everyone together here. No! Unless you're a freaking douche. Nah, it's just, I don't know. It's just me. It, it, it just came out like really narcissistic. And plus that, uh, that way, uh, that, that way that she introduces stuff. It's so, it's so cliche. Exactly what to say. Welcome to the shit show. Yep, that's me. And yeah, that one. That and that's me. And blah 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 blah. Talk about lazy writing. This that's actually that, okay. That's actually one of the things that uh kind of like kind of a tell for me, I guess. If something, if let's say if if there's just like a show or something or like a teaser or anything like that, that tells you that that gives you like a narration of like. How to describe everyone in the team? You're a bad writer. It means you, there, you, don't, you don't have a way of introducing like the personality uh, or the, the traits of the, the characters just by going through the story alone. You had to actually like narrate everyone. Like that's that's lazy writing. It's just me. That's my that's my opinion. The holy sh Yeah, that Damn. All right. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll we'll go to the next one. My name is Holly. Just your run of the mill college kid. They run of the mill, just, just your average girl or just your average douchebag or something like that. It's so it's so overdone. I can't they think of anything else? But I can also be a real softie on the inside. The real softie. Oh my god. I'm sort of the glue that holds the whole team together. The process behind designing Zoe's character wasn't as straightforward as the other three. Developing a young female in a zombie apocalypse isn't easy with a backstory like hers. Someone's still alive. She had to be attractive and worn down at the same time. Thanks. She needed to be tough and able to hold her own, even- And also that's the thing with uh, Left 4 Dead. It doesn't have a part, well, like, like, a, like a specific, like a, like a dedicated part on introducing, you know, introducing the characters. It just throws you in and throws you in uh, and as one of the characters, and that's it. You actually had to, like, actually get to know them as you play the game. Like how their personalities are, how they are. Like how they talk to each other, that's how you find out like what their attitude or like what's their personality. And that's 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 how it's supposed to be. Even though she's occasionally terrified. Flashlights off. Her readability was also something we had to take into consideration. While we were developing Left 4 Dead, we shipped a game called TF2. 
And Team Fortress 2 taught us a lot about things like read hierarchy and other queuing tools that you need to have in a multiplayer environment. We also wanted to push harder on the horror art direction. Oh, it is so like the, the, doing with the, game before we the first it, draft for the characters. The survivor oh, characters. hey, Francis is here. <laughs> characters were designed as a unit, so that while I stand out together from the rest of the world, their strong silhouettes and color contrast provide clear reads for each. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Um, Just by the silhouettes alone, you can tell who they are. And that's, I, th I think that's brilliant. Individually, yet a signal team. We wanted to conjure four survivors that could resonate realistically and thereby complete our horrifically rendered vision of the zombie apocalypse, which you, the player, now find yourself in. This is what we have this thing called versus mode, where you can play oh, four versus survivors, mode. playing as humans with four infected, but this time as humans. And what they try to do is the survivors try to get to the end of a map in fact, to try to stop them. And we recently got to see uh, how PvP is going to be expanded. Do you want to? Do you want to jump into that and, and talk about that newly announced experience? Yeah. Okay. What's sure. PvP? Uh, you queue up with three of your friends. You go into a, a match, and uh, you're playing a best of three. So you play two rounds, and it's whoever lasts the longest on the cleaner side is the winner. So it's not going to be quite the entire campaign where people make their way from level to level and then swap. It's very much here's a hyper focus area designed around the swarm mode. Oh, and really? You're just gonna have to survive longer. That's, ex that that's exactly it. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. That's like you say. That's lame. One of the concerns that, that were raised by people who had Left 4 Dead is, you know, uh, what's different enough about this to justify it being a new sequel? So we spent a lot of time talking about what the scope is, both it's basically artistically like in terms of the scale of the game. How the gameplay is evolving what are some of the technological pieces that have moved forward and doing anything we could to make sure that our fans who are the reason that we exist the reason that we have a business understood why left 4 dead 2 was a really exactly they did evolution, it for the fans uh, rather than just us trying to come up with a way of uh, you know stripping money out of a successful and popular game don't mind me i'm just eating candy because an evac station of 30 flights of goddamn stairs oh my gosh Maybe the helicopter. Maybe it's made of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? Oh yeah, mods. I have not come this far. Speaking of which, yeah, we got it all my all life mods. <laughs> when 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 we play on stream. Pipe bomb out! <laughs> Frickin chicken is back for blood gonna facilitate the modding community at all with the online element or is it gonna purely be contained game files it's contained we're, uh, sure. yeah we're not gonna have Ooh. anything like that available then for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen closely you can hear my heart break <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did, so. yeah yeah now, talk about yeah you can hear this appointment dead and they signed us back our which is the theme of backward blood i guess <laughs> mike decided he was done running his own studio here to talk about the co-op shooter is project lead mike root i think at the time he was really enjoying not being the boss so he said i don't want to run turtle rock 2.0 we've had to sit by for the past 10 years and watch other people sort of riff on something that we created. As creators of Left 4 Dead, from the award-winning creators of Left 4 Dead. Creators of the critically acclaimed Left 4 Dead franchise. Made by the creators yeah, of Yeah, that, that's, this is actually the painful part. If they didn't uh, advertise that, um, they're also like the, the, like from the creators of Left 4 Dead. I wouldn't look at that. Everyone is, yeah, not everyone's going to look at it this critically. Of course, because you did this, there's no way you're not going to get compared, you know, with Left 4 Dead. For Dead. Uh, no. Make sure the 360 <laughs> was up to snuff, make sure the PC is polished, and it's going to be spectacular now. Left 4 Dead. Hmm, Valve. Two, both of those, I really put a lot of thought into replayability. You can pull people back Another to around corners that they thought they'd already got past, and... It's kind of, it's, it's a really interesting space for that, for Versus in particular. We're actually really Love honored designer. that there's such a strong fan base for Left 4 Dead 1. Left 4 Dead characters, there's a lot of agonizing over what's the cast of characters, who's going to want to play them. Okay, I'm seeing the theme. Who are they in this world? 
the action Valve, was procedurally yes. generated, and so we were never really sure how much time we had before there was going to be 100 zombies running at you. Once you make debugging 10 times faster, it becomes feasible to do something that was infeasible before because of the debugging cost. What we did was we used blood splats to differentiate similar textures and added some grind to them. Oh. Tick textures. Yeah, with uh, playing around Blender, textures are so hard. We didn't know why. You guys refuted a rumor about Left 4 Dead 3, and I hear the giggling already, so we're going to continue with this. Because you're playing the same mission a bunch of times, if you played the exact same line at the exact same location, it would be rapidly... Design and program higher. experimental psychologist? What we wanted at Valve was to create uh, an experience Engine programmer. playing through a really good horror film. Moby goes on to level lead designer, yeah. Team Fortress 2, then works on titles such as Left 4 Dead. But I also worked on Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, hell. That's not Turtle Rock, Turtle Rock, yo. Wait, what? Yo, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold up. No, 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 no. Hold up. Wait, 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 what? One, two, seven people? Seven. Not half. Not a quarter. Seven. 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 From the creators of what? Excuse me? Dude. Not the done franchise. Very good claim. <laughs> wow, that is in wow, okay. Seven people. I guess technically it's not false advertising. But holy shit. Man, that is crazy. Yeah, that's why a lot of people that I know, or uh, I'm also like prowling all around the, the reviews on, on Steam. And yeah, a lot of people are talking about bugs uh, on Back for Blood. Yeah. Holy shit, that's... Yeah, a lot of people say like, oh my god, it's this is like 60 bucks, no way. And to think, to think, Left 4 Dead 2 is like how much now? World War Z? Uh, I haven't played World War Z. Uh, Val actually played World War Z. He said he liked it. So I guess it's okay. I haven't played it though. I guess he got it free. But yeah, damn. Um, All I can say is... It's so lazy. It, uh, if you look at how much detail and how much work was uh, was put into uh, like Left 4 Dead, and here's the sad thing: most of the uh, most of the footage that's on this video is Left 4 Dead one, maybe once, maybe one or two of Left 4 Dead two, but this is more like a comparison of for. Red Left 4 Dead 1. And that's like 12 years ago. Man. That's why... Uh, yeah, I guess that's why... <laughs> wow, what a disappointment. Holy shit.